most of his I can hardly see him because he's sort of hidden behind the speakers or the curtains or whatever, or hiding behind a mic stand, but that would be unlikely because he has about four breakfasts a day and about ten dinners. They're not, they're not big meals, but his doctor says you're only allowed to smoke after each meal, so he has 45 meals a day just to make sure. The gentleman I'm talking about, as I say, not only is uh, the man who's produced my records, but we've probably seen him on stage and on television many times with George Hamilton and Paul. Make him welcome, Mr. Bill Clark. in charge of a band when I've got my backs to them half the time, if not all the time, it's impossible. The man that is in charge is Bill, and we thought it would be appropriate so that everyone in the audience knows that Bill is in charge of the band, is to make him some little presentation so that he stands out from the rest of us. We are just a crew. Bill is the captain, and if we could just call on Jeannie and Duncan to make a little presentation to Bill. I mean, we're very near the sea here, and if you'd like to... Place it on your head, Bill, you'll find that the whole band has actually signed it for you. back in 1973. Now the man that played steel guitar for George was a fellow called Little Roy Wiggins and he played a non-pedal steel guitar. The deck's going to recreate that sound for you right now as we do a song, a special request in fact for Mr. Tingling. <laughs> 